33 identity in Christ. John 1, 12, yet to all who did receive him, to, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. We are children of God. Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. We've been called according to his purpose. Ephesians 1, 7, in him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. We've been redeemed through Christ's blood. John 15, 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. We were first chosen by God. Romans 6, 6, for we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, so we are no longer slaves to sin. Genesis 1, 27, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. We are created in the image of God. Jeremiah 1, 5, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. We were, um, God knew us. God set us apart and God appointed us as the prophet to the nations. 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. We are chosen people. We, uh, uh, we are royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession and um, declaring the praises of him who called out, uh, called us out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ and I lo no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I, I now live in the body, I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. We've been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. John 15, 15, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called your, called you friends for everything that I learned from my father. I have made known to you. We are friend of God. Ephesians 2.10, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. We are God's handiwork uh, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Philippians 3.20, but our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. We have citizenship in heaven. Colossians 3, 1 through 4. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. We've been raised with Christ. Set, up, uh, set our hearts on things above, set our minds on things above, not earth, earthly things. We died and our lives are hidden with Christ in God, who is our life. Romans 8, 37. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. We are more than conquerors through, who loved us, through Christ who loved us. Psalm 139, 14, I praise you because I am fearfully 
and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new cre uh, creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We are in Christ. We are a new creation and old things have passed away. All things have become new. Psalm 8, 5. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. Literally, thou makes him want but a little um, from God. Um, has made him a little less than divine. We should read, however, instead of for thou, um, it should be, and thou has made. Another commentary says, For thou has made him a little lower than the angels. Rather, thou has made him, but a little lower than God, or little God, immortal beings, or heavenly beings, or the angelic beings. Only as immortal beings can we repent. Immortal beings, um, like Angelic beings cannot repent because they have seen the full glory of God. Amen.